A new mod for Fallout 4 is on its way, and it's created a massive buzz in the Fallout community. The Project Mojave mod. It seemed as if overnight every fan of the series was talking about it. But if you missed out, I'll sum it up simply. The Project Mojave mod is a mod that recreates the setting of Fallout New Vegas while taking place in the current timeline of Fallout 4. A small demo was released on Nexus, giving everyone a quick taste of what was in store. You could teleport over to a small corner of the Mojave, encounter some familiar old enemies and weapons, and even visit a limited version of the Strip. Although being a fan-made project and not an official DLC from Bethesda, the quality of the assets were absolutely incredible. And even though the size of the demo is fairly small, after playing through it, I honestly think that the Project Mojave mod has the potential to be the greatest thing that's ever happened to Fallout 4. So hang out for a moment and let me explain why. The key. This big massive looking beard. Many people refer to Fallout New Vegas as a cult classic. Just mentioning the game itself will ignite an argument amongst fans as to which Fallout game is the best. Although not my personal favorite, I absolutely loved New Vegas. Starting with the environment itself, the Mojave. Seeing such a desolate desert wasteland with the glowing backdrop of a vibrant and colorful Las Vegas was absolutely brilliant. The grittiness of the big iron-wielding cowboy fit perfectly in a post-apocalyptic setting. The soundtrack was perfect and set the tone of wandering the Wild West. So many memorable songs like Big Iron, Heartaches by the Number, and Jingle Jangle. The factions were fascinating. The brutality of Caesar's Legion expanding westward, the slick-looking armor of the NCR Rangers, the mafia-like mentality of the families of the Strip. Mr. House, who was based on Howard Hughes, is one of my favorite characters in the history of the Fallout franchise. There were so many potential outcomes, so many quests, so many possibilities, and an almost limitless set of choices. You truly could shape the future of the Mojave as you saw fit, and every decision you made had a consequence. But despite all of this, New Vegas was far from perfect. At its launch, New Vegas was absolutely plagued with bugs due to its rush deadline. Constant freezing, crashing, and glitching were a common problem. It also utilized the same game engine as Fallout 3, Gamebryo, which was a bit underwhelming for fans expecting a new and improved feel. It couldn't handle the processing power of allowing a character to sprint, the strip itself had to be broken into multiple sections because of hardware limitations. And this engine has definitely showed its age over time. Until recently, when good old games started selling an already patched version of New Vegas, trying to play was a nightmare. The base game sold through Steam, if not extensively patched, was borderline unplayable due to bugs and crashing. And if you don't have the technical know-how to mod, this can be a huge turnoff. Now, enter Fallout 4, my favorite of the series. At its launch, Fallout 4 looked absolutely gorgeous. It utilized a new game engine called the Creation Engine, and it showed. The graphics were vastly superior to previous installments. The gameplay was so much more smooth, it felt so much better running and gunning through the wasteland. And although it obviously suffered from some bugs and crashing, it was much more polished and more reliable. It introduced the ability to build, customize, and establish settlements, which in itself can be a huge time sink to certain players, myself included. Modding became available right from the main menu, which was huge at the time. Prior to 4, players on consoles essentially missed out on the modding experience. Now, there were tons of mod options available. In my opinion, it truly lived up to its hype, and it's why the Fallout 4 community is still incredibly active to this day. So with all of this in mind, imagine being able to take everything that made New Vegas shine and bring it over to Fallout 4, while also leaving behind everything that held it back. That's essentially what is happening with the Project Mojave mod. Which leads me back to my main point. This mod has the potential to be the greatest thing that has ever happened to Fallout 4. And here's why. Project Mojave is not recreating the story of New Vegas on the creation engine. Instead, it adds the world of New Vegas into the Fallout 4 timeline. Think of the possibilities. Instead of completing old storylines and quests, you'll have the opportunity to meet new characters and narratives in the Mojave. 
Familiar factions like the Legion and NCR could be retained, but it would also pave the way for new ones to make their way into the wasteland. In theory, people will be able to create their own mods to use in conjunction with Project Mojave. You could add your own NPCs and quests and decide who currently rules over the territory based on the events of New Vegas. You could build upon existing Fallout lore or get creative and invent your own. It also opens up the possibility of recreating other New Vegas DLC maps. Imagine running through Zion Canyon to visit the unmarked grave of Randall Clark while facing off against the now warlike version of the Sorrows tribe. Or imagine what sort of bizarre results could come from a meeting between the think tank and the Institute. And those are just a couple of ideas. The potential to expand the world of Fallout 4 and the stories within it is almost limitless. Now how about those of you that enjoy settlement building? Wouldn't it be cool to build your very own casino? Imagine having a giant flashy settlement of your own, complete with card tables, slot machines, entertainment and accommodations that all simultaneously generate caps. It would make settlements so much more alive with activity. And Project Mojave brings in a huge list of weapons and armor from New Vegas as well. This matches perfectly with the smoothness of combat in Fallout 4 and adds a fresh new feel to both ranged and melee builds. I have to say that ever since the early days of Doom, there's something so satisfying to me about using a chainsaw on enemies. Consider all of these possibilities. The landscape of New Vegas, the enemies and factions, the quests and the gear, and then lay them all out with the polish of the creation engine. And finally, add the ability for players to build onto it with their own mods. And you have, in my opinion, the perfect recipe for an incredible Fallout experience. And that is why the Project Mojave mod has the potential to be the greatest thing that's ever happened to Fallout 4. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this mod and try it out for yourself, and let me know what you think. If you agree, hit that like button. If not, let me know why in the comments below. And if you like Fallout content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Chris The Key. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Chris The Key. The Key. The Key. Weird.